Okay, I forgot to mention this in the video, but yes, there is an update for Abyssrium. It does not fix the time zone exploit for the um, the event. So you really want to install that update when you do get it because it fixes the rose deletion bug. Uh, there's no reason not to install it. It just fixes bad bugs. It does not remove the good bugs. So this is an update you actually want. And I know that in this game, you're not always sure about that. See ya. I'm so tapped up, and I guess we're kind of doing a two-in-one here. So, I didn't really want to do a video on this update, honestly, but uh, I realized I never really did a proper video on why I might not be discussing Abyssrium anymore on this channel. You can probably guess from all the Valentine's Day crap, but I never really did a formal video, so I'm going to do that after I discuss this new event. Or, update. It's not an event. Um, so there was a new update. Uh, it's doing a slow rollout, as always. If you don't have it, uh, you probably just won't have it for like up to five days from now. It's uh, just it started rolling out a couple days ago. Um, they just do these slow updates and it confuses the heck out of everyone. It's really annoying, but the developers don't really care about anything. Uh, so, it adds... Uh, is it five or is it six? Uh, six new fusion fish. So... Everyone except the, you already saw the Monk Seal, which is going to be a lot of people's favorite, I'm sure. Monk Seal is limited time. There is no unlock requirement, but you only have, uh, I guess, until March 30th to get it. And unfortunately, it does mean if you get the update late, which is not your fault by any means, uh, you have a few less days to get it. But uh, just make, just save up all the clams, you, or crabs and everything else that uh, you can for it. And there's also the eight-banded butterfly fish, the red gurnard, which is a very cute little feller, olive ridley turtle, uh, the wahoo, and the nurse shark. For some reason the nurse shark, or the wahoo's made out of colossal squids. So a lot of these, uh, the, the, the blobfish, some of these require CS vitality to actually unlock. So the, the, they look more hidden than they are. This is a complaint I have about some of the recent updates. We'll get to that later. So, to unlock the eight banded butterfly fish, you need to own three line butterfly. So, it's basically just you need to own the, the thing that makes it. It's not really that hidden, but it still shows up as hidden until you meet that requirement. Uh, for the red grenard, you need to own three blobfish. So, you need CS vitality to unlock that one. Uh, Olive Ridley turtle, own three loggerhead turtle. I don't know why it's not made of the other, other Ridley turtle, but whatever. Um, the wahoo! You gotta take a picture of the wahoo! It's like the marlin! <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so the wahoo, it's just like the marlin. It'll swim every, like, maybe 30 minutes at random. Uh, it might not show up for hours. Some people hunt these things for months and they never find them. But the cool thing about the wahoo is, whether unintentional or not, if you have the bonito, and you take it out, and you take a picture, you unlock it. That's how I got it. I did not see the Wahoo. I just put out a uh, Bonito. You can actually see in my last Makai Wars stream, I actually got it just because somebody asked about it, and I just popped in real quick. There's the Nurse Shark, um, which you just need to own 40 kinds of fusion fish, which by the time you... Um, by the time you get all the way down the list, you probably already have 40 kinds. Yeah, that's the Nurse Shark. And Harp Seal, that's just, you know, time limited. So yeah, there, there is another new Marlin, which is another reason I don't think the developers give... Oh, hold on. The screen's a little, it's a little pixel out of... It. There you go. There you go. Um, I, I don't think the developers care about user complaints at all. It's like, the Stripe Marlin is one of the most common complaint about the thing the, for the whole the life of the game. And they've added now the Bonito, which is the exact same. Star Stripe Marlin, which was the exact same during a time-limited event. That was a slap in the face. Um, and now there's another Bonito after so many complaints. They're just like, you know what? We'll give them even more. Screw them. They're just, they're just people who pay our, you know, salaries. Screw them. Screw them. Uh, there's also another little one of these time things. So... To get to this thing, you gotta close the main menu, and there's this little checklist. So it seems like we're gonna have one of these every month or so. Um, so yeah, you can get basically one of almost each, uh, everything except the Wahoo uh, and the Monk Seal. You can get one free in this if you meet these requirements. So 
for the these are not unlock requirements and I'm not sure if I assume getting one of these unlocks it but you still have to have the fusion there are fusion fish so you have to have two of the source fish too but yeah you basically get free um, a free fish and these are basically free vitality too because it increases your vitality by whatever percentage uh, also farmer lesbian on reddit um, who does great little um, she makes threads for every new fusion fish update and she calculates which one's the most efficient and she determined that the uh, green crummy or cromis how do we say that I don't know if it's French or not but it's uh, that's still the most efficient one in terms of resources or in terms of like absolute time in terms of resources because they only cost 50 seaweed I think the clownfish are actually the best but if you only buy clownfish obviously you'll have a crap ton of clams and other stuff left over but yeah overall it's a pretty standard update i don't know why krill's farm still isn't here this is the third update in a row that's been focused on crabs um i like the fusion fish but i, I do wish we would just get some more normal fish it's been over a year since there was a single new normal fish did you know that uh, the January update last year is actually the first time they the last time they added new fish It used to be every couple weeks. They would add like four new fish uh, Maybe not super long-term sustainable, but every month four new normal fish would be I'd be down with that yeah, Add that in with fusion fish and events. I think that'd be pretty cool so that's pretty much it on the update. Oh, um, also the update appears to fix the issue where the platypus would not upgrade so if you had that bug you only have like a week to do the event the event ends on march 12th should have mentioned that earlier but yeah so this is the part of the video i'm less looking forward to talking about but yeah that, that bug is fixed and the thing where it says it's going to delete your roses that's gone i should have mentioned that earlier too but yeah a lot of people are getting warnings that yeah it's going to delete your roses and that warning is gone in this um considering this is a bistrium I would say there's still maybe a 10 to 20 percent chance that your roses still get deleted just because they didn't do it right. Because honestly, that, that would be no surprise at all. But um, oh yeah, you can see the timer up in the top left. So yeah, but yeah, I would not be surprised if there was a bug. But at least officially, you're not supposed to lose the roses. We are supposed to keep them. Uh, but the song of the moon still doesn't work. Um, I mean, it works. Uh, some people are confused. When, when people say the Song of the Moon doesn't work anymore, we mean in the, in the event. It still multiplies your vitality, so it's, it's still good. But it's not of any use for events anymore. Um, so yeah. I, at the beginning of the video I mentioned, I didn't initially plan to do a video for this update. I didn't really intend to. I kind of put all Mysterium work on, on the sidelines and stopped updating the guide and everything. Uh, didn't really plan to do this, but I never really posted a video explaining um, succinctly what the whole deal is, so. <sighs> Many moons ago, Cheetah Mobile acquired Abyssrium, and I was always pretty suspicious of that. Cheetah Mobile's catalog of mobile games, uh, it's nothing like Abyssrium. It's a bunch of just derivative crap. They're uh, just this random Chinese publisher that buys up garbage and serves up garbage. It's like I, I'm sure there's some fun to be had in their other stuff, but it's nothing really unique or interesting like Abyssrium was. Um, so it really stuck out like a sore thumb, and it just looked like, you know, everyone at the time, if you really know what was going on, you kind of had to assume, these guys are just going to bleed this dry, aren't they? And... Uh, they added in pearls. Uh, over time, the game, they added new content, but there was always stuff like, oh, they added, you know, the January update fish, but wait, you need DL vitality? And it was basically impossible at that time. Like only, uh, for a few months, uh, pretty much only hackers or I incredibly mega over-dedicated people ever had it. I, I never got those until they added the craters. Um, but yeah, they, they added more premium, they added an extra layer of premium currency and pretty much completely abandoned the original one. Uh, that's just weird. Gems no longer, I mean, they're still required for skills and you'll probably never get enough gems for all the skills, but it's just weird that they just decided to add a new layer of premium currency and the, the old one doesn't count for any new 
They've never added anything new that adds that requires gems since the um, the time when they upped the uh, skill requirements. And those just seemed like it just they're just a gem sink. They just cost a lot. So over time, you know, Cheetah Mobile it was pretty expected, but Cheetah Mobile added you know it's fairly greedy stuff. Some you know they added more premium currencies. They added the first Gashapon, the stupid luck shell. And at the time, I was very upset at that, and I, I railed against it fairly hard. The the warning or the, the section on the luck shell in my guide is still, it's like four paragraphs telling you why the luck shell is bad and gambling is bad and you shouldn't do this. And it's like one paragraph <laughs> explaining what it is, and I'm not sorry for that. Um, but all in all, things were still all right. It was. It was a good, but flawed game at that point, and I mean, the original Abyssrium developers, uh, Idle Idea Factory, they were never that great in terms of communication and stuff. Um, and a lot of people blamed it on the language barrier, but it's pretty clear now that it's not the language barrier that's the issue here. Uh, there's just a lack of respect for the players. So over time, a lot of bugs happen, and they just didn't fix them. Or they took a really long time, and they never post on social media about bugs. Almost never. There's a, if there's like a galactically bad issue, they'll make one social media post. But like, in all of the midst of this Valentine's Day thing, they posted one, one um, kind of PR post. They initially announced that, oh, we're gonna kill all your roses and throw all of your hard work in the garbage. And then they posted a thing retracting that. And they managed to be incredibly rude, even in that. They're like, uh, they actually told somebody to delete the, the app because he said the update was trash, which it was. Um, and here's the thing about PR and, like, customer service. People are gonna be rude to you. And, and... It's not really their fault. Like, you should never be rude to customer service people because they're not really the reason, you know, the thing is broken. But if you're in customer service, you have to know that they're they're not mad at you. You can't be you can't be petty. Your job is to take an angry customer and make them leave a happy customer. That is your job. That is the thing that you do. That is the single function that you are being paid for. You can't be, like, like say you're, you know, uh, you're the customer service at an internet provider and you've accidentally, you know, not you, but your company has left the whole state in a state of blackout. No internet for anybody. And you're getting calls and people are really mad. They're like, oh, what the heck? You can't just be like, did you just hacking swear at me? I will drive to your house. I will cut apart your dog and I will feed it to you. Like, you can't do that. I don't know, this is, you know, maybe this is a shock to some of you, but you cannot threaten to murder people's dogs if they tell you, that, like, if they swear a naughty cuss cuss at you. I've upset Parker. I'm sorry, Parker. My cussing language. You, you cannot do that. That is the most basic aspect of human interaction. Like, this is not even, like, a PR thing. That's like, you just can't do that. That's not a language barrier thing. Like, I don't hear somebody speak in a language that I don't know very well. I don't know German super well. Like, if somebody, you know, like, stubs their toes, like, Scheiße! I don't, like, I don't go, like, how dare you? I will murder your family! Like, no, I'd be like, like, I stubbed his toe. He's got, he's got a reason to swear. It's, it's fine. It's fine. You can't take everything personally. Um, <laughs> it's just... It's frankly pathetic, and it's incredibly unprofessional. Um, and this is a lot of people give them a lot of slack. And honestly, uh, Cheetah Mobile is a company that has five hundred million dollars in assets. Uh, Cheetah Mobile is uh, has several thousand uh, employees. Um, Abyssrium is a game with over ten million installs on Android alone. Probably you know same amount on Android or iOS roughly. This got to be the amount of ads that this game pushes on you, the amount of whales this game has, the amount of players, active players. There's no way this app is pulling in under a million per month. This is a business. This is a big business. The, the people that spit in your face on Facebook telling you to delete the app, they're seeing more money per month 
flow through this game than you'll probably ever see in your life. Um, it's easy to be like, oh, it's just a silly game, you know? You shouldn't get mad at it. It's like, well, you know, when when millions of dollars are on the table, like, it's it's not a silly game. It's a business. You can't you can't be like, oh, McDonald's is just silly fast food. Who cares if you know? We don't, you know, just open our locations and a bunch of people show up and waste their time and gas and money and, you know, don't get any burgers. It's just food. Who cares? Who cares? Like, no. Billion dollar business, honey. You can't, you can't just be like, eh, who cares? You know, a passion project for free? Then you get to say who cares. Multi-million dollar app? Eh, no. So, the communication is bad. It's unconscionably bad considering um, how popular the app is, how big of a company they are. And like I said, it's not the language barrier. A lot of people try to say, oh, they just don't know, they just don't know English. There's no messages in Chinese or, or excuse me, uh, Korean either. There's no, like, th there's no, there's no la communication in any of the other languages. They, they serve, um... The original developers are Korean. Cheetah Mobile themselves are Chinese. I don't know whether the original dev or Cheetah Mobile is who, you know, communicates. I don't know exactly which language they speak, but it's obviously not natively English. Um, but they don't put out messages for anybody. Like, it would be one thing. Like, say, I play Makai Wars, and it's only in, released in Japan. And, um... They release updates all the time, and they have like this big wiki, and uh, they have updates on the game like every week, and they're all in Japanese. I can't read them, but see, it's one thing to have to like translate and use Google Translate. Like Makai Wars, that's a language barrier issue. They're not communicating in English because I mean the app's not out in English, so they don't care, and that's reasonable in that case. Uh, but they are communicating. In Abyssrium's case, they don't communicate. They don't communicate at all. The, the, they post one thing after the event releases. They post one update about the thing. And then they post a couple videos to use as ads. And then a week before it ends, they announce that, oh, the event's ending in like two days. I hope you got all the fish because we didn't tell you when it was going to end until now. Get screwed, loser. Like, I've never played another game like this where we don't know where the event ends. Every single event, I get asked dozens of times the same questions every time. Oh my god. It's not your fault. It's, I understand. But when, when I vent my frustrations on this, please understand that I've basically been unpaid support for Cheetah Mobile because they don't actually provide real support to uh, anybody, at least not anybody that speaks English. Uh, so all of the support questions come down to me. And um, unlike them, I'm not paid millions of dollars a month. So um, I actually do think I have a little bit of a right to get a little bit cranky. And at the same time, I've never, <laughs> I've never been like, like, I don't even have the capacity to be as rude as, as they were, honestly. Like I've never told somebody to like smash, if, smash your phone if you don't like my guides. Like I don't, I don't even know how you convert that sort of rudeness to what I do. Like, if you don't want to read my guides, you can just not read my guides. I, I'm not going to be happy about it, but well, whatever. A lot of people have been incredibly abusive to me over this, by the way. I, I mean, not a lot, a lot. Like, not relatively a lot. But I've had maybe a dozen or so people post uh, very hateful things. Um, I haven't got any death threats, which is <laughs> apparently, you know, fairly good as far as internet ADC is concerned, but um, I've had people make multiple accounts or uh, post across multiple social media things about how somebody actually posted. So um, the day after the very first slow rollout started for the Abyss Room, so on Valentine or er, on February sixth, people started getting the Valentine's Day update. Um, on February seventh, I posted a video on how to do the exploit. On February 27th, 20 days later, um, this woman posted, We already know, Tap Tap. You're late as usual. You're such an idiot. And, like, she posted 
Uh, she also posted this swear-filled thing that Forza got caught by YouTube spam folder, and I just banned her. I don't. If you be an idiot in my ch in my comments, you you're gonna get a perm ban. Uh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that, honey. Uh, but yeah, she's banned. But like, like. A, you posted on a video 20 days late and you're saying you already know. B, that, that info that info came less than a day after the, the update released. It's not, it's, it's more or less not possible for most of my videos to come out any faster. Like, <laughs> I would have to have the update before it released to get them meaningfully any faster. Like, as far as pretty much anyone is concerned, my videos come out before the update because they do the stupid slow rollout crap and I have the information. Uh, thanks to a lot of helpful people. A lot of people on Reddit or on my guide or just email me information. I really do appreciate that. Um, and I, I really will miss all of this if I do have to stop doing this. But if, if you've been following up on the Valentine's Day stuff and watching this video, which I hope you have, because you've been watching for 20 minutes. So if you haven't been watching it, I'm not sure what you're doing here, but uh, good luck on your journey. But yeah, I, I don't want to quit and all this stuff, but if the developers are going to be this unethical with the Gashapon and stuff, and just this abusive of the player base, like honestly, the Gashapon is evil garbage, it's gambling, it's, it's abhorrent, and uh, there's no justification, and I genuinely hope that crap gets pretty much regulated out of existence pretty soon. Uh, come on, Hawaii, do it. But uh, the, the 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 response to this whole thing is kind of a whole nother can of worms. Honestly, they like they just wanted to pretend there was only the issue of deleting the roses. They wanted to pretend everything else was fine. And so there's been several major bugs in this event. So there's been one bug that I mentioned already, the uh, the platypus bug, where the event was simply impossible for a lot of people because the the platypus wouldn't update. Did they post an update on Facebook about it? No. Was that because of the language barrier? Well, no, because they didn't post a Korean or Chinese or any other language. They didn't post it at all. It's not a language barrier if you don't post it all. Um, there was also a bug that deleted people's roses. Um, thanks to that, a lot of people thought that was just the normal behavior of the event. And we're just like, oh, this event's just impossible. And a lot of people got mad and deleted the app, which very valid thing to do. I, I had to re-download the app because I had already deleted it before I made this video. Um, but did they post that, oh, if you go into Facebook or the VR thing, like all they had to do, like go to Google Translate, mash in the Korean for, hey guys, uh, if you go in Facebook or VR mode, your roses might get deleted. Don't do that, we'll, we'll patch it. Put that into Google Translate. Copy the Google Translate. Put that... Just any attempt, a single attempt, one iota of a give a crap is all that was necessary. They didn't have to know English. They could have just put it in their native language, run it through Google Translate, thrown it up on there. Somebody would have figured it out. They didn't do that. They didn't do anything. They didn't give a shit. They, they don't care. And you know what's, you know what's screwed up? They s caused themselves so much more work. Like this is not like reason, this is not a thing that you can excuse by like greed. Because by not telling the player base that if you go into Facebook, it'll freaking delete your roses. Don't do that. Um, by not telling people that. They got so many more support cases that they had to go and manually be like, oh, okay, I'll give you your roses back. Give me your, give me your user ID and how many roses and I'll send them over. They gave themselves so much more work. It's, the incompetence is baffling. I've said for over a year now, they need, like, they need a, a PR manager. They need... A freaking user relationship manager. They need somebody that gives a shit. They need somebody that like looks at this like, hey guys, we have a critical bug that is affecting thousands of people. Um, that is possibly costing us, uh, you know, 
hundreds of dollars a minute as people quit the app. Um, we could post a thing on Facebook and like let people know. And they're like, nah, fuck them. Fuck them. Assholes try to play our game. Like what, what, what is that? What is that? <laughs> it, it, it's... It's only ex like explainable by malice or idiocy, and frankly, I can only assume it's a combination of both at this point. Shut up, Twitter. Um, I'm sorry to get mad. I, I don't like making videos angry, but this is inexcusable. If <laughs> I have like panicked and like rushed to tell somebody of a bug half as significant that affected like. Three people at my job. If I did anything even remotely as incompetent as pretty much anything that they've done the last month, I'd have been fired. And I wouldn't even be able to complain about it. I'd be like, yeah, holy crap, I deserve to be fired. What is wrong with me? Like, this is ab absurd. This is ridiculous. All they had to do, like, again, somebody in the comments, I know, because they do it every time, somebody's like, Hey, they don't know English. A, they need to hire somebody that knows English because they have millions of players that speak English and they need to be able to communicate with those people. But, and it's a million dollar app, like they could hire an intern for like $20,000 a year to like fix all of this stuff. And, and like pay me, like I will help, I will help. I, I will require money for this, but like, hit me up, Cheetah Mobile. I can help translate your stuff. I can help you not be assholes to your customers on Facebook. Like, the, your current social media person, I'm sorry. They're genuinely an asshole. Um, and a lot of people have said, oh, I should be nice to them. It's like, no. <laughs> no. Not, not after all this. I'm sorry, honey. No. Um... See, that's the thing. When you abuse your customers, that's bad. When your customers are mad at you in response to your abuse, that's just kind of justified. This is not a... This is not a petty situation where you can retaliate. You know, you can't go, I'm rubbery or glue. When you just spit in the face of your customers and they're mad, that's... They're right to be mad and you can't just be even more bad back. This is basic stuff, like I said. Um, so like, honestly, even if the Gashapon, like I hate, absolutely hate gambling and they very clearly designed this event. Uh, this event was designed to not be possible unless you pay the money because the roses are so incredibly hard to get. And so you have to watch, uh, what was it? Like 500 different ads. I gotta imagine this is like against some ad policies too. Like they, they can't be intending you to watch like five ads every like one minute. That's right, Parker. Like, there's no ad limits in Abyssrium. Like, there's timers on each individual ad, but you can watch so many ads and, like, it just feels like, you know, click stuffing or whatever. But, uh, even if the event wasn't so exploitative, they, they just don't care. Like, it just seems like active malice. Like I said, the, to put in another Marlin unlock? Oh yeah, and that's another thing. So, so a big reason that I'm like not really too broke up. Well, I mean, I am broke up too. So, all right, calm down, Tanner. So, I I hate to not be able to help people. That's the the reason I made these guides. I am not indebted to these developers. I've been called a traitor, by the way. But like, he's betrayed. Like, I, I genuinely said traitor. People on Facebook are fucking ridiculous. I it's, it's disgusting. Um. But these people have never paid me. They don't even answer my emails. They don't even answer my bug reports. Uh, I've only gotten a response out of them once when the game ate my pearls. That was the only time they've ever acknowledged my existence. That and a form letter when I told them the uh, Valentine's Day event was super exploitative. They just gave me a form response they gave everyone else. Uh, these people, they don't pay me. They don't send me advanced information they don't talk to me to be like hey tap tap you got you know the pulse of the community like any other company any sane reasonable company would be like oh there's a bunch of people posting bad stuff on on reddit about us should we 
should we be like, oh, hey guys, um, this is what happened, and this is why we think it's not a bad thing, and this is why, you know, we'll evolve, you know, do the EA thing at least. Like, this is genuinely worse than EA's response to Battlefront 2, which is amazing, because EA's response was really bad, but like, if EA did not respond, that's basically what these, these people did. Like, if EA saw all the stuff about loot boxes, like, heh, screw you losers. Also, the loot boxes don't work, and sometimes you pay money, and you don't get the thing, and I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> Thanks, EA Games. That's basically, that's basically what happened here. Um, and it's just tremendous. So yeah, the, the developers, like, it's honestly malice at this point. This is really the only explanation. Um, and they, they just see this app as a way to bleed money out of a bunch of dumb rubes. So, I can't really help them do that. So that's why I might have to stop making videos. I'll wait for a final decision for the final, for the, the, the event the uh, spring event I'll see how bad it is it's probably gonna be bad I there's no way they care at this point it's just like <laughs> it's just formality at this point um, but another thing like a lot of people were like oh no the event is so good why would you how could you say bad things about it and it's like why would you get mad and not want to update the guide well in addition to everything I've said in the last dang 30 minutes. Didn't mean for this to be this long, but there's so much bad, it's I can't make it that much shorter. But another thing is that there's no hidden fish in this event. Did you notice that? It's one of my first complaints, but like the the traffic to my guide, it usually gets like I usually get like a four to five times traffic spike for the first couple days of the event. This event, less than double. Um, there's not really any reason to, there's, there's no there's no gameplay why would you look up a guide for an event that doesn't have any gameplay you just watch f f five ads and then you wait three hours everything else is random it's just pure luck you want to know how to get the um, the pink horn coral you get lucky that's how you want to know how to unlock the yeti crab you get lucky you want to know how to get the uh, the mimic octopus that's a favorite Unlock condition, you get lucky. Isn't that great? Don't you need a guide to tell you that? And even the fusion fish, so we went over, you might notice those are really boring conditions. They, they just haven't had very many fun hidden fish. The, the two things that for me make Abyssrium a great game, I guess, let's say three things. So one, the low poly art style, it is really great. Uh, two, this feeling of collection and getting all the things. I like that. Most tapping games, it's just mindlessly raising numbers and you get bored of it. There's no real goal. It doesn't feel cohesive. But number three, the thing that really hooked me was the hidden fish. And that's what made me make the guide. Because I wanted to collect all that. And I really liked, you know, every month there'd be new hidden fish to find. That's why I really like the events. Because that's when we had the most hidden fish. And so, if all new events are just, you know pay the devs money, wait unreasonable amounts of time, and then get random garbage and just let them spit in your face a hundred times. Um, you don't need a guide for that. What's, what am I supposed to tell you? What am, I, what am I supposed to make a guide about? Other than the exploit. Oh, by the way. Oh, frickin' another thing I should have mentioned earlier. Uh, the exploit still works after the update, so feel free to do the update. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'll make a little addendum or prependum. Is that a thing? But at the beginning of the video, I'll do some of that. Um, but yeah, it's just all of the stuff that made the game fun, it's leaving the game. All of the bad stuff, all of the bugs. It took them three weeks to fix the rose bug, by the way. They didn't acknowledge it for three weeks. People are having months, years of work. So a lot of people I know. Uh, they play this game like religiously. They pay ten dollars every event to get the thing, the, to get the in-app purchase fish, to let them grind more roses or more, you know, can't, event currency. Some people have built up like a, a million 
of the things. Um, Farmer Lesbian, I think, has over a million of the little event currencies, and she always buys the, usually buys the ten dollar ones. Um, said which you know doubles it so these people have invested you know dozens of hours and dozens of dollars uh into into these candies and they're like hey loser idiot moron guess what stupid we're deleting your damn roses we don't care that you spent a bunch of money you're gonna spend even more money we're gonna you're gonna spend on the new master nimble platypus if you don't like it delete the app that's pretty much all they got for you and it sucks because the original game was so great and this is all so unnecessary and terrible and this is a, this is a game that people just really unashamedly spend money on and like it, it didn't feel gross until now like the ten dollar an event thing like, I wouldn't spend that myself for the most part, I was tempted by the rabbit because I like rabbits, but you know, people would spend ten dollars and they seemed very satisfied and like it seemed like a very sustainable thing, but you know, big companies they're not really so into sustainable stuff. They need one quarter growth. You know, I'm sure Cheetah Mobile was like, Alright guys, uh, you guys need to double our earnings the next quarter. I don't care if everybody quits the app and our year over year is like negative. I need one month that I can be like, hey, investors, look at this app. It's doing great. Then they'll give us money, and then we shut this whole app down. And then, you know, we, we use that money on, you know, booze and imported hookers. Uh, I think I meant imported booze, but whatever. Yeah. Ugh. 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 That's why I've always wanted to be. I've always wanted to be something self-sufficient, but not, you know... If, I never want to make a publicly traded company. That's I'll, I'll refuse at that point. I, I would really like my patron and my YouTube and stuff to you know be something self-sustaining where I can be self-employed. But would I ever make a company? Nah, not not publicly traded anyway. Something private, something small. People I can trust. Decisions that I make, okay. But all this investor crap, this ugh, 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 ugh. You know the worst thing about this event? I only covered about like, I made a list on Reddit of all the bad things about this event. I only covered like half of those. It took me a half hour. It took me a half hour and I've scratched the surface. There's so much garbage. I can't even, I can't even discuss all of it. It, it's just terrible. Um, like for, for example, the heart whale, it's got a chance of under 1%. So people, on average, people do about 200 Gashapon pulls. Uh, at three hours a pull, that's... Uh, that's 600 hours of uh, just waiting. A lot of people are like, oh, this makes the game more casual and easier and more fun. They, they had the frickin' gall to tell us this makes it easier and more fun. This is objectively the hardest event ever in terms of just clicking on the roses. Even ignoring the goddamn platypus three-hour crap. Um, but when you include the three-hour platypus thing, this this is the most active event ever. You just you just have to stay glued to your damn phone. You just have to keep opening it every three hours. Your life is chained to this until the game randomly, by pure chance, by gambling, decides to give you the thing that you want, and it might not give you that thing. It's awful, and like I said, there's even more stuff that I'm that's slipping my mind right now like the the lack of decoration items like the the expand thing is cool right you can place it around but like people like the theme items they didn't do the theme items no hidden fish all of the bugs it sucks and um all in all I just can't make guides for a game that exploits people. I can't encourage people. I know there's a lot of people who've told me, hey, tap tap, I would have quit this game if, if it weren't for your guide. And I used to feel pride at that. But now, if I keep making guides that make people play an exploitative game that steals their time and their money and makes them mad and feel exploited, I... I can't do that. I can't do that. So, we'll see how March goes, but 
I'm not exactly optimistic. So I'll have another video in March and it'll either be me quitting this whole thing, I guess, or maybe the devs will hire some competent people, but uh, kind of doubting it. Had fun, everybody, and I'm still going to make guides, just not for this. I still really enjoy making guides. I really enjoy, you know, helping people, helping people enjoy things, and that's what my channel is for. Um, even if you only subscribe to the Abyss Stream stuff, I hope you stick around. There's a lot of really cool games that I play. Um, I try to cover as broad a stuff as possible, so even if you don't play them PC games or them whatevers, I think you'll find some cool stuff.